been told that you're funny, you'll want to listen to my next guest, who can tell you how to make your sense of humor pay off. Judy Carter, who wrote yes. the book, that great book about the comedy Bible, and she, as she was leaving, she says, I can make you funny, even though we know I'm not funny. She has been hired by some of the nation's biggest companies to inject humor <laughs> into the workplace. Her name is Judy Carter. I am what we call a motivational humorist, where I show companies and corporations and organizations how to use humor to handle stress and change. Corporate America has become humor impaired. I'll do a joke and they'll go, oh, was that funny? Is HR laughing? <laughs> On top of that, how many of you have a family or you've ever been in a family? <laughs> Well, that's stressful. Let's just say your accountant. Wait, I'm going to put this away. You crazy people will understand, OK? And if you understand that, that what I'm going to say, you're really nuts. OK. Let's say your CPA invites you to a party of VIPs. And you're supposed to RSVP, ASAP, and BYOB. OK? But you don't, because your son needs some TLC. He didn't do good on his SATs. He's got ADD. <laughs> Probably listening to MP3s on his PDA. <laughs> and then your sister IMs you. Her son has OD'd, LSD, PCP. You don't get the message because AOL is DOA. <laughs> and then you want to relax, right? Turn on the TV. Watch CSI on CBS. <laughs> but you can't because the NFL is into OT and you can't afford HBO. <laughs> and on top of that, you have PMS and you're a man and that's not okay. <laughs> ah. Oh, come on, you understood what I said? You people are stressed. <laughs> I want to reveal to you the trade secrets of comedians so you can look at stress like eh, like little comedy spin on it so you can go, eh, look, I'm not in a miserable marriage. It's comedy material. It's like, eh, it's a little like, look, I don't have the patience from hell. Eh, they're hecklers. That's, that's it. Look, my son wasn't arrested drunk on the TV show Cops. I have a relative in showbiz. <laughs> when we laugh at things, oh, it just helps our spirits. It helps our business. You even live longer. It helps your health. Look how long comics live. Bob Hope, 100. George Burns, 100. I saw Phyllis Diller perform in this city at 86. 86, she can remember in an hour act where most people don't remember where they put their teeth. <laughs> people, what is a healthy diet? It's a diet of laughter because Phyllis Diller is alive and Dr. Atkins is dead. <laughs> Woohoo! And at the end of my talk, you will have lost five pounds. Because all that stress and negativity weigh you down. So, you know, arguing with your spouse, let it go. Fretting over money, let it go. Drinking over problems, keep that, you know. What did you do to get into heaven? Hi, I'm Joan. I was a patient coordinator. <laughs> I worked really hard and raised a family and worked and great, come on into heaven. Who's next? What did you do to get into heaven? Hi, I started the first HMO. Oh, you can come into heaven, but you can only stay for three days. Well, there are a lot of doctors who are kind and considerate. They're called uh, nurses. Um, <laughs> something's going to happen to mess up your day. You get into your office, and what do you hear? Hurry up, I need somebody right away. I'm desperate. I need somebody to come over. I need someone to take care of me, feed me, bathe me. And, you know, and that's your husband. Then you got clients. Um, <laughs> I'm not a nurse, although I 
sometimes dressed like one at night, but because, you know, to watch out for the symptoms of stress, excessive eating, excessive drinking, not exercising, and excessive shopping. <laughs> Who are we kidding? This is my idea of a good day. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> it's like, let's skip the gym, chow down, get loaded, and shop. <laughs> Life is stressful. And then what happens, you trip, you find you have a cheap HMO. They send you for your x-ray to the airport. <laughs> I really, you know, I really hand it to you. You guys are, I don't, I could never, you know, touch other people's mouths, you know, unless without dinner and a movie first. But, you know, just, <laughs> you know? this is what you wanted to do with your life. Were you just a little girl going, Mommy, when I grow up, I want to scrape plaque. You know? <laughs> Mommy, when I grow up, I want to be a dental assistant and do all the work and get none of the recognition. 